my kitchen again this week and I'm going to show you something I've been experimenting with and it's a one sin, some of your friendly strawberry and coconut mini cupcake with a pink twist. So keep on watching if you want to see how I make them. So for this recipe I've teamed up with Dishmatic, the washing up tool and I love how there's a reservoir at the top so you can fill it up with washing up liquid and water and it just makes cleaning pots so much easier. But this one is a special pink limited edition to raise as much needed funds and awareness for the charity against breast cancer. And they'll also be donating £10,000 towards the cause. But if you think they're very nice to have as well, then they'll be available in most supermarkets throughout Breast Cancer Awareness Month this October. So first things first, preheat your oven at 180 degrees. Then in a large mixing bowl, you'll need to add three medium eggs or two large eggs and then give that a good wix with an electric mixer. Followed by 38 grams of melted floralite margarine, the zest and juice of half a lemon, three one quarter teaspoons of vanilla extract, then give that a good whisk before adding half a teaspoon of baking powder, three teaspoons of zero calorie stevia leaf sweetener, mine's from Whole Earth, then the key ingredient, 33 grams of coconut flour, or for an extra pink twist, why not add a few drops of pink food colouring? So once it's well combined, set aside and line a mini cupcake tray with 12 cases. But it is better if you go for silicone ones. So spoon the mixture evenly between all the cases. And then pop in the oven and bake for about 8 minutes until they're slightly golden but not too brown. Now it's time to make the pink cream filling. So you'll need 3 tablespoons of cork three one quarter teaspoons of the same sweetener and six to twelve drops of pink food colouring and just give that a quick mix and set aside. So once the cupcakes have done and they've cooled down, slice each top off with a sharp knife, spoon over the pink cream, then add on top a quarter teaspoon of no added sugar jam. So pop the lids back on top and then just sprinkle over five grams of icing sugar but I don't sin this part because most of it lands on the worktop. 